Welcome to Thursday's Market Sit Rep here at Top Gun Options. Matthew Buckley, call sign with one of the portfolio managers here at uh, TGO. And markets uh, laying off for uh, pretty hard this week. And this really goes to our uh, our mantra here at Top Gun Options that the market only cares when it cares. Uh, Iraq is getting ready to absolutely implode. Thank you, Obama administration, for declaring victory and running away bravely. Um, uh, the Al Qaeda forces uh, forces against the government are are getting ready. They've taken and uh, to crit Mosul, and they're getting ready to move on Baghdad. I don't think they'll take Baghdad. I mean, it, it is a uh, it, it is a big stronghold, uh, but this is this is an, an embarrassment, uh, and it really caught our administration uh, off guard. Uh, the uh, um, Maliki administration has asked for air support uh, and help, and uh, we've kind of said no. Uh, so here we go again with our administration just more or less kind of throwing their hands up in the air and uh, and, and retreating from the world. So what's that going to result in? That's going to result in uh, oil getting at uh, nine-month highs here, and summer gas prices are going to suck, uh, the highest since 2011. Okay, so crude's at nine-month highs. Drama in the Middle East isn't going to help uh, crude. And uh, couple that, couple world events with what's going on in air markets. We got uh, May retail sales, uh, big miss, big miss out of retail sales and core sales. Whenever you see the word core, it means uh, X something. OK, uh, so uh, excluding autos, uh, retail sales was also a, uh, a miss there. OK, um, and then initial jobless claims for the week, a miss up for the second week in a row. So uh, the market uh, you would expect is lower today. Uh, we saw uh, essentially triple digit uh, decline in the Dow yesterday. Uh, the S&P is getting uh, hammered as well. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, in days like today, it's I'm, I'm glad I have my hedges on, okay? Uh, days like today, my VIX hedges, uh, my SDS. The, the, the other day when the VIX got below uh, 11, I, I said, hey, this is nuts. When vol's cheap, you buy it. When it's expensive, you sell it. And the VIX being below 11 with everything that was going on in the world was a huge buying opportunity. So hopefully you watched that sit rep and got long volatility when I told you to get long volatility because it's, uh, it's a hell of a trade uh, right now, okay? Um, so... Uh, I'm fine in this market. You know, here at Topkin Options, we potentially profit no matter which way the market moves, up, down, or sideways. Uh, but, you know, just uh, what's going on with retail sales missing and uh, what's going on in Iraq, uh, it's just it, – there's a whole cauldron of bad out there, folks. And uh, like I said, as an options trader, I, I really don't care if it's bad, good, or otherwise. But uh, as an American, I obviously uh, care, okay? Um Tomorrow, we're going to see uh, some uh, University of Michigan consumer uh, sentiment numbers and also some uh, PPI, uh, some inflation numbers uh, here in the United States. But tonight, or early Friday morning, we're going to see industrial production numbers out of China. That will definitely move our market, in my opinion, on Friday. And I think we might even sell off harder if uh, China's industrial production numbers come in weak. Okay, so be be prepared for uh, a potential uh, volatile Friday uh, to, to cap off an already uh, volatile and, and bad week. Okay, so uh, I got to run. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. I'm wrapping up uh, my uh, week in New York here. Going to go watch uh, Brazil defeat Croatia today uh, in the World Cup. So happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. And I'll talk to you with Friday's market wrap up tomorrow. We'll see you.